Good evening, good people. Welcome to my channel, Bald Head Harrison here, coming out to give you guys Libra's reading, okay? So if this is your first time visiting with me, thank you so much. I hope you choose to stay, scroll through some of my other videos, see if any of them call out to you, um, and let me know if you like them. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, for sure. If you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate your time, your love, your support, your energy. So Libra, I did do some, some meditating on your energy today. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell you what I got. I hope you don't get offended. We're going to lay cards to see why I got that. But I, I got, I got a, <laughs> I just heard goody two shoes. Okay, I heard goody two shoes and I stopped right then and I was like, oh boy. So I didn't meditate on it for too long. Um, I didn't want to, I wanted the cards to give me uh, the reason why I heard that. I didn't want to channel any more energy or any more download on that. I said, okay, let's, let's go ahead and get these cards going. Let's go ahead and let the cards tell the rest of the story. But if um, maybe you've been called that, maybe you feel like that's what you are. Maybe that's what somebody called you as a child in school. Maybe you had family members that said that. I don't know why that came up. That's just what I heard. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and call in the spirit of love, light, life, wholeness, accuracy relevancy for libra i say i say so i'm gonna lay three cards and from there we will build and figure out what this energy is about okay what this what that download was <laughs> it didn't feel um heavy and it didn't feel frustrating it felt like you were being, it felt like a 990 boo boo, like that type of energy. It felt like maybe you were being picked with, with that energy. So again, I didn't focus on it too long. I wanted to go ahead and get these cards laid. So <clears throat> so your first card out is the queen of cups. Okay. I'm using my final rose tarot. I don't know if you guys can see that I have a darker setting. And in this particular deck, they're called flutes, just in case you're able to zoom in on the cards, okay? So the Queen of Cups, okay? So <clears throat> let's keep going. Let's keep going. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles in this deck. It's called the Eight of Rings. Okay, <clears throat> so, so far, the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> and now, this, um, the Four of Pentacles as well. So, the Queen of Cups is giving, like, a caregiver type of energy. Um... The Eight of Pentacles is giving, um, maybe you're being watched for something that you were really good at. Like uh, maybe you are seeking attention from something or from someone that, that you... You desire their attention or you desire their appreciation for something that you do very well. You're hoping that somebody is watching you. Now, what I just heard was I believe that this may be this Queen of Cups card is not you. I, I, I'm feeling like this is mommy issues type of energy. You're wanting attention from your mother or a female energy. Um, in your family that you feel like does not give you um, she doesn't give you the attention that you deserve okay I'm hearing that it's a possibility that you guys need to spend some QT there's been some type of discord some type of turbulence for some of you, it's just it's been recently and for some of you it's it stemmed back from childhood 
but I am hearing that there's going to have to be some give and take. Like you can't expect the, 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 the other party, the mom, the grandma, the aunt, because this is about another female. So it's not a daddy issue. It's most definitely an issue with a mother type figure. Okay. But spirit is saying that it's going to take work on both of y'all's ends. It's not a the mom or the aunt or the or the grandma or the older female who whomever this energy is in your life place the energy where it belongs they don't have to do all the work and i i feel like for for spirit to have sh sh have said that to me maybe the only reason y'all are not on the same accord is because you think they should come to you because you're the either you're the the child or you're the younger energy in the situation so you've been waiting for maybe a conversation maybe even an apology maybe a phone call that initiates cute quality time and i think that person may be saying well you can call me too you can reach out to me or you can you know it's i just feel like there's some it has to be some give and take there has to be some reciprocity on both on both ends okay so i hope this is making sense so far if it is please give me that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> okay now the four of swords is here so the four of swords speaks on um resting okay rejuvenating and recouping from something that made you feel ill whether it was physically ill whether it was mentally ill emotionally ill it's um it's it's a feeling of now you can rest now you can relax now you can um almost like your spirit guides if you believe in them or some of you guys may you know work with the angels whomever whatever you believe is something is something has bestowed a sense of calmness over you and i believe that that the four of swords has come out and that calmness has been bestowed upon you um so maybe you will feel comfortable expressing how you feel or making the first move so to speak like being the one that does the reaching out first but i think maybe prior to now you've been full of anxiety maybe full of anger maybe full of um just holding on to things that happened in the past so you haven't been able to move in your truth you haven't been able to voice what you need from this person because i feel like that you what you need the attention that you need the appreciation that you seek the quality time that you desire you need it it's like you're at a pivotal point on your journey in your life where you need this caregiver person whether again whether it was a mom a grandma aunt an older female woman a guardian a foster parent whomever whatever again place the energy where it belongs but you're just at a point where you um desire and deserve um communication effective strong loving healthy communication with this person but they deserve it as well so again it's 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 if you've not, if you've not been able to reach out and speak to this person spirit is just saying you can't put all the blame on them that you must take some of the blame or take control of the situation and go ahead and make the first move and i believe that that's why the four of swords came out so uh it's representing that you're in a place of calmness so you probably would be the better fit you would be the better one to reach out and get this um, healthy communication on the road okay so the four you got two fours here so the four of cups has come out as well now the four of cups talks about somebody oh wow okay 
Let me tell you why I said that. Okay, so I'll show you the card. So that's the Four of Cups. And now we have the Queen of uh, Swords. This is a sword. It, I'm sorry. The mirrors in this deck is the swords. So you have the four of swords, and now you have the queen of swords. In between those two is the four of cups. Now let me tell you why I said uh oh. You have been, or the other party has been. We'll just see where this goes because we got two queens here, and and I don't know who's playing who. <laughs> I, I do believe that the Queen of Cups, the first card that came out here, is the the motherly energy that you're seeking this attention from. This Queen of Swords, I'm I'm 99.999% sure that this is you. Um, you're in bitch mode, and don't get offended by that. Let me tell you what I mean. <laughs> And I'm not saying that just on my own. That's what's at the bottom of this card. It says the bitch. Now listen, let me tell you why. You're reflecting on something that happened in the past. You're holding on to it. And every time you are prompted by spirit to let it go, to um, allow that hurt, that pain, that anger, that frustration to fall off, for some reason, you pick it right back up and you go right back into bitchy mode. It's like spirit has come through and probably given you subtle epiphanies on how to fix this energy between you and this motherly energy. But you won't allow it to fall away you uh, you play in your mind with it you stay in a um it's like you play yo-yo with it uh, you'll let it go and then you'll bring it right back you'll let it go and you'll bring it right back okay i'm and this is not a blame thing so i hope you're not taking this reading as blame this is just really accountability okay um you want to let it go but it's in your control. It's not It's not in the control of the other person. Um, I think the other person wants to have this same conversation. This, this person, the caretaker person wants to communicate with you. But I believe when y'all get together, the few times that y'all are able to have conversation, it turns out very bad because somebody wants to give the heart. Somebody wants to walk away and say, fuck it. So the conversation is it's it's too it's too um it's just very opposite of one another. Your motherly person could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or um Pisces, possibly. Okay. You, on the other hand, Queen of Swords, Queen of Mirrors, is Libra's energy. Okay, that is your card. That is Libra's card. So I I I I feel very um confident that you are the reason that this this relationship can't pick up speed because you begin to reflect, okay? And you hold on to some of those images. And I believe that now this is going back to what I heard during the meditation, the goody two shoes. I believe that this was a female that told you this, a mother, a big sister, a grandmother, a aunt, a woman that you looked up to that could have possibly been the one that maybe told you you think you're better than people or you think you're the goody two shoes or something like that and i believe that that is what's playing back and forth in your head when you begin to want to fix things on the home front with this person those comments that were made amongst others is what you keep playing back over and over and over in your head okay and then you go back into bitch mode. <laughs> you say, you know what? Uh-uh. So I'm I'm definitely sensing that there has to be some forgiveness on your end 
of this person. And that's going to be a very big step for you. But Libra, you know your... Your... Okay, wow. King of Flutes. Okay. So... <clears throat> And I'm pausing because, wow, I, I I just hope that this message lands in the lap of the Libras that are supposed to receive it, okay? But because the King of Flutes has come out, and look at the imagery on it. That's a little girl dancing on her daddy's feet. Um... I feel like I'm, t I'm speaking to some Libras who don't have a healthy relationship with their mother, but they had a beautiful relationship with their father and maybe the father is deceased or maybe you're just far away from your father. You may be missing your father. Either, either way, place that energy where it belongs. Your father could still be in the picture. And maybe you've been talking to your father. And maybe your father is one of the energies that's telling you to, hey, you and your mom need to work things out. It could be something like that. Either way, you had or slash have a better relationship with your father than you do your mom. Okay? And for some of y'all your dad raised you for some of y'all your your dad was a single dad and maybe maybe now he's older or deceased okay and maybe you just recently for some of you this 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 what i'm saying now could could, could resonate with a small few of you that you just recently um got back into communication with your mom but the conversation and the communication has not been healthy which puts you back into, you know, I miss my dad mode or I would just rather, you know, um, nurture what me and my dad had. So it's this is very this is a very um, intense reading. I can tell that if I keep pulling cards, it's probably going to get more intense. But Libra, I think you are being challenged right now. You're being tested to pull your. Um, scales out and weigh some options, weigh some things, okay? Um, whatever this is about is for your good. It's for your benefit. It's not for the... I'm sure other people involved will benefit from it, but you are the main character in this reading, okay? So whatever needs to be done, you're going to be the one that benefits from it. And I, and what I'm hearing, what I'm being told, and what I'm being encouraged to tell you is um, not that you have to fix anything. It's not a fix thing. It is a forgiveness thing. So you can move forward because I feel like you do want understanding appreciation attention and communication from this caregiver energy okay you do want that again it's just something that you keep reflecting on when it is time to make that move to this person you can't it's like it's like you just you mean your head too much I think you allow everything that ever disappointed you about this person, you allow that to take control, which turns you into, and excuse my French, but I have to say this, you being, man, fuck that bitch. Or you might even say, fuck that shit. I just don't even want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with her. I don't want her apology. I'm not apologizing. She ain't apologize. No one. It's like you go, you, you start this whole meltdown in your head okay so i am going to pull a few more cards thank you spirit and show me more i would like to see the resolve for libra if that is available for us to see okay, okay. so we had a few cards come out okay so there's the villain okay that is the devil card there is, I'm not reading reversals, three of flutes, which is three of cups, which talks about um, um, a truce, 
becoming friends it's, it's a celebratory energy so that is the resolve this is going to happen for you libra the next card is the uh eight of in your head oh my goodness and i just said that this is the eight of swords again it's eight of mirrors in this deck but i literally had just told you that you're in your head and that's what it says at the bottom you're in your head you won't allow this you won't allow that pain and that frustration to cycle out. You keep reliving it. You keep resurrecting it. You keep going back to what happened when you were a little girl and what mom said or what the caretaker person said. Okay. And I'm sure that there has been some, um, there has been some pain and and hurt feelings and hurt egos and i mean pete that's what humans do unfortunately it's the human glitch humans <laughs> one thing they know to do is how to create new ways to hurt one another verbally physically emotionally and mentally so you know it's it's that's one of those things that's never going to stop okay until until humans evolve you know that's just something that they're going to continue to do but but that's where the forgiveness comes from. That's where the forgiveness kicks in. That's where you have to say, okay, this person did the best they knew how to do with what they had to do it with, okay? So I know that you're going to have to extend forgiveness, um, Libra, whether you want to or not. And that is your challenge. Now, let me show you the other card that came out. I literally had just said that you're going to have to pull out your scales, right? And then look what's on that card. <laughs> So I love when spirit comes through and confirms what I said and, and, and just kind of brings it all together and um, brings a, a form of completion. I said I wanted to see resolve for Libra. What is it that Libra can do or what is it that they need to put forward energy and vibration in so this can be resolved? And I, I three of flutes. It says here to make friends at the bottom. That's the celebratory card. That's the card that says, good, let's come together. Let's, let's hug it out. Let's, 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 let's just be friends. Let's celebrate. Let's, let's just be glad that we still have one another. Let's just be glad that we've made it past our turbulences. Let's just, let's just be thankful for the nowness. Let's not focus on the past because we can only build forward you know we, we nobody's living life in the review except you libra when you <laughs> when you go into your deep your deep thoughts and you begin to you know again resurrect some of those uncomfortable moments that you encountered with this caretaker energy but yeah the thing is get out of your head because you're the only one in there the other person wants to the other person wants what you want. Um, I think that they just may not know how to come to you. Maybe they are very keenly aware that the things that they did and said to you as a child or during your teen years or whenever they did, whatever they said, whatever they did and said, they are very keenly aware that they were out of line, that they should not have said it. But as we all know, we can't fix the past. We can only um, pick up in the nowness and move forward and, you know, know what to do and what not to do. But I believe that whether it's a mother, a grandmother, a, 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 a sister, a, a, it could be a really good friend. And, you know, this this energy really could, you know, it, it could cover many different areas where women play a major role in your life. But it, how, whoever and however, they want to fix it. And you want to fix it. But because you, you go back and forth, you know, with yourself, as as I said, and as the card came out and confirmed, you stay in your head about it, which, you know, causes you not to move forward with going and getting what you need. Because whether you admit it out loud to anybody else or not, I can tell that you want this connection. You want this connectivity with this person. Okay. And it is something that is going to be a benefactor to you um, once it is put in place and y'all are able to discuss and talk and forgive right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck i'm not going to pull any more cards but the bottom of the deck is first impression rose oh i like that that's the ace of roses that's the ace 
of wands. Now, let me tell you why I know that what you're going to do very soon is going to benefit you and the person. First of all, look at the imagery on the card. Okay, this is a person handing a person a rose. And it says first impression. It's almost the truth. I already said that. But it's almost like both of y'all are going to give each other your, the flowers. You know, we never want to wait until somebody's dead before, you know, we can say I forgive you or I accept your forgiveness. This card is letting me know that both of y'all are going to acknowledge, acknowledge what each other needs from one another and you're going to do it willingly and effortlessly because you've both been waiting for this moment you've both been waiting for the opportunity to repatch and rekindle and move forward under grace in a perfect way and in love with one another you want you've wanted the attention and the appreciation and the love from this person and they wanted it from you too so no better time than now libra than to move forward in love and in light with this person okay um because you are the scales you are the justice card okay justice didn't come out in the reading but it didn't have to the scales card came out which in this deck is the two of uh pentacles okay and it talks about two people coming together in love Okay, not just in a relationship, but in any any type of relationship, business, partnership, um, um, mother, daughter, uh, however. Okay, so the fact that this came out and on each scale is a heart. Okay, each scale shows a heart. Both of y'all are ready to fix this. Okay, this person's been trying to hand you the heart. And it's just been really hard for you to accept it because, again, there are things that you continue to think about and that weigh heavily in your mind that makes you um, unforgiving. So, Libra, it is time to forgive. It is time to get out of your head. It is time for you to free up space because I think that you've been holding some things back some good things that are trying to come toward you haven't been able to manifest into your world and into your life because there's room being taken up by past hurts and past traumas and past pains that you've just been holding on to. So let that go. Let that go, Libra, so you can receive all that life has for you, okay? So I hope this was a helpful reading. I hope it was a key that will help you unlock some stuff. Um, if you liked it, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but if this, is, if this is where we part, then thank you so much for watching. Um, go off and be, uh, be blessed, divine one, be blessed, okay? And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.